are we doing? Eric. Time to show off all your your fancy new trailer stuff. To be prepared. Yep. You got us a Camaro this weekend. Saw that. Be prepared, guys. You, you, you want to give us the lowdown by starting off towards the end of last week? All the stuff you did on this trailer to get it ready for Me. finding some finding some gems. Everybody, I think everybody had a hand in the trailer. I saw you cut three quarters of a hole. Got aggravated with you, so I finished the other one and then the other three. And then uh, true story. You drilled all the holes to hold the winch down. I did do that. Keith found it in the toolbox. Put all the nuts and bolts in there. Got the battery all mounted, winches in there, straps are in there. Then I get a call about a 69 Camaro, I went and bought it. Thankfully we did this, I was able to pick it up all by myself with a push of a button. So the story on the car is, the guy's, he's got a, a bunch of project cars apparently. Well, the, uh, their kitchen caught on fire. So his wife made him sell one of his projects to fund the kitchen remodel. So this is it. Get a call, go pick it up, see if we can't sell it as a job to somebody. If we need to cut and move something, just make it look as much like a car as we can. And then uh, sell it as a job, hopefully. Before my wife decides she wants it. She's always wanted a Camaro. So before she sees it, I need to get some dollars in my hand so she don't want to keep it. This is one of those parts you don't know what it is, but it'd probably be like a $9,000 car by the time you it. Shit, for all I know, it might even go to the car. So we, sent the, <laughs> so we sent the car to Roaster Shop to get scanned, and until we dissected it, I don't think there was any way to know that the frame rails on the car actually tapered. So the bottom of the frame rail is perfect to where it needs to be on the car itself, but as it tapers up in the car, uh, the door jams are aluminum, so I don't want to cut the door jams up, as weird as it is. So it's aluminum deck lid, doors, and hood, and aluminum door jams with a with steel skin on the outside. So I don't want to modify any of this. So what we did is we're taking the frame, since the bottom is perfect, Keith cut this down so you can see where it was originally. And when we cut it, we pied it, we're strapping it over and we're gonna weld this back to taper it back to meet the taper of the body. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Get it? Got so it. then we'll weld this and then move this side in, clean up the outside and weld this then the body will fall right back in place. Like I said, there's no way for them to know unless they dissected the car as much as we did, but then I wouldn't want to travel with the car dissected this much up to Illinois to have them scan it. So a couple modifications to the chassis and we'll have it back together. Like this. Hello, though. There's always that dick in the background doing it. And don't stand right here. A minute ago, I was standing right here and he popped that loose. Needless to say, this, it hit lefty. Oh hey, man, hit a home run. Yeah. So stay away from that. <laughs> he popped me. And he, I was like, oh, he's like, <laughs> he caught him off guard. So all we gotta do is weld this up. We'll be done and ready to go. Oh, 
like how you're hiding behind me. Yeah, you're about to steal, man. <laughs> I got him in the cajones while I go. <laughs> yeah, popped him loose and two by four goes, wow! What do you think? Close? Getting there? Yeah. It's nice to see it on here. Hey, Eric! What's up, Doug? <laughs> How's it going? Good, man. What's going on this morning? I bet you wanna you wanna take a peek at the Corvette today, huh? Yeah. Well, we brought it out from uh, from its last little bit of work and uh, got it over here. Stuck it on the lift this morning and. Uh, took the frame out from underneath of it we're getting ready to put the body on the rotisserie so Bruce can have something to do Can't win with Bruce. So with our replacement door and our replacement quarters, half of the car had fender hole or had molding holes and half of the car didn't. So the customer decided he didn't want molding. So I'm going in and cutting little pieces and bending them with a little angle to fit the body line and welding them in. The other fender had an antenna hole, the mirrors on the top of the one door. That door I gotta fix some um, mirror holes. Last week I got the, I don't know what you consider, the package tray extension area, the arch matching the deck lid, because they were about, about three eighths of an inch different. So I got all that squared away. Deck lid, test fit, Bruce is doing a little bit of work to the deck lid. We found some more, some more rot that I gotta fix. Just gonna try to get the doors on it, get the fenders on it, get it all gapped so it can go go on its merry way to the body shop but it's still got a little while to get there but any progress is progress slow progress but progress let's talk about what you're doing today bruce and what you've been up to I'm trying to stay busy looks like you got yeah. plenty of stuff to keep you busy i stripped this cleaned up the metal it had a lot of rust underneath the the paint and you can just see little tiny bubbles everywhere. And, and this is for that, what, uh, that 66 blue, Chevelle? Yeah, it's a blue 66 Chevelle. Yeah, that's a nice looking car. I spent the majority of last week trying to match the color and I couldn't do it. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I made probably about six or seven spray outs and none of them were close. Is that what that picture was that you posted of the paint that didn't match? 
Yeah, yeah. That was like in the mixing cup. I didn't like actually mix it yet. That was just all the toners in there. But I failed at that. So I stripped this, cleaned it up, and we're gonna prime it. I'm gonna block it, and then it'll be ready for paint. It's actually in really good shape other than all the rust it had underneath it. Now, I'm back on the Challenger. I think he said he wants to get some color on this by the end of the week or sometime next week. I think I gotta block it one more time with 400 and then it's pretty much done. I think the deck lid is ready to paint. Thanks for watching everybody. Keep an eye out for uh, updates on our new projects and uh, come and see us out at Good Guys. We'll be hanging around.